Hey guys, Radio Garage back on the bench. Just uh, working on a radio here for a local uh, trucking company. And uh, I did one of their radios in the past. The 33, what is this? The 33 HP2. They, uh, they bought two of these. I fixed the one in a previous video, blown out final um, from a hate to say it hack shop um, it was set up by so they had some problems with that one and this is the twin and now this one finally went down so I was just uh, sitting here listening to some skip working on this thing and uh, I figured out oh, let me throw the camera on and let you guys know what's going on don't usually do a lot of videos on the local stuff but um, so Got a blown out final IRF 520, which is funny. Uh, those seem like they're always the ones that are blown out. Is the uh, 520s, even though the 13 and 10s are the ones with the bad rap. But I would have replaced this all with 13 and 10s. But they're they're trying to keep this budget friendly, so I threw another uh, 520 in there, and she's back up and running. So. It was pulling a uh, high amperage before, just like the last one I did. So, got this idling away here. Um, in case anybody's wondering what these things uh, sit at, about a quarter of an amp, just uh, receiving. And we'll see what we got going on here before I start doing my. Uh, Tune up in alignment that they want done. So I'm guessing, yeah, TR32 is gone down there. Modulation limiter. Now well, that's probably all they did because uh, that's the quickest, quickest way to to make a buck with these is just rip that out and send it on out the door uh, I'm sure I'm sure them finals the bias is probably crazy uh, it's pro I'm gonna have to yeah I bet they have the I bet they have the bias set crazy all right let's see where these crazy uh, folks got this escape voltage set at there's our carrier let's check the yeah four and a half way too high and check the other one at yeah, 3.6 so that's probably why that one blew the 3.6 one was still good so yeah they got the I mean that's just sloppy sloppy work uh, you're gonna have one set a whole volt higher than than another one you know that's just crazy uh, alright gonna throw that limiter in go through the alignment get all these voltages set right and uh, get everything on frequency um, transmit receive and we'll be back with the results all right, actually before I uh, go through with the alignment let me let's see what the heck this thing's doing um, I haven't even seen what this thing looks like modulation wise so let's throw a tone into this and see what we got we do 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 let's see we are on we were on FM okay we're on AM now let's try it again yeah there we go. Now let's see what it looks like on a average meter. And turn this uh, modulation off. Now let's see what a what a clipped radio looks like on a on an average meter. So I'm gonna key it up. Okay. 50 watt slug, make sure that's in 1x. 
Okay, we're doing, uh, yeah, we're doing just, just under 5 watts. I'm going to hit the modulation on. And we're doing about 10 watts or so. Average. Peak. Doing just over 40 or so. Dirty as can be. Okay. And let's see what it looks like on the spectrum analyzer. bumps uh, that's not even modulating actually uh, that's just a carrier show you what it looks like talking into it one two hello you can see a couple spurs out there a couple spurs to uh, 30 oh well, that's not right center is 27 205 span 30 megahertz and let's see what we got hello See if we could clean that up after the alignment. There's that second harmonic. Let's see what that looks like. So, second harmonic's not bad, but we got a bump. We got a bump out there after uh, after our center frequency. Alrighty, we'll be back. All right, we're all done with the 33HP2, and we got the final replaced, tuned, aligned, came out nice, uh, pretty much just like the other one I did, got the limiter back installed, um, got the receive straightened out, that was pretty out of whack, um, frequency's dead on now, so... Uh, let's just see what she's doing real quick. Oh, and also uh, cleaned it up on the spectrum analyzer. I'll show you that. So real quick, we'll throw a tone into it. Nice. Okay. Um, I'll show you what it's doing for power. Might gain all the way down. It's on... Um, Hi. She does about a nine watt key. Light gain all the way up. Reading that center scale, 50 watt slug. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, well, one, two, three, four, 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 four. So just under 40. That's a nice four to one ratio there. All right, and now let's go over, I'll show you, if you remember, uh, we had that blip for uh, the spectrum analyzer. Do, uh, let's see, we'll do a 15 megahertz span. I'll show you that that blip's gone. And look at that, nice and clean. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, audio. So, 
Um, that's what's nice about having the right equipment. You could really set these galaxies up to be clean. So, uh, we'll just take it out quick to 35 megahertz. One, two, three, four, five. And out to 60. One, two, three, four, five. Second harmonic and fundamental and nothing in between. That's what we like to see. Hello, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. Came out nice. No reason to rip the limiters out of these things, guys. You know? No reason to do that. Uh, let's hear it on the monitor radio up there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Turn the volume up a little bit. And I'll throw that echo on. Get that galaxy echo. One, two, three, four, five. Got a little extra on the timing there. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, good sounding rig. So that's my gain all the way up. No squeals. Loud, clear radio. Uh, local customers are going to be happy with it. Thanks everybody for watching. Radio Garage, gmail.com. We'll see you next time.